Safety rating and positive eye rating. That makes the perfect race, and that is what we just passed. All right, everybody, if you're watching this on YouTube, we qualified poll at BIR in the Porsche Cup. Um, we'll see how this goes. Hopefully, turn one does not turn into a shit show like it has been. <clears throat> we're going to get rocking and rolling here right away. Okay, standing start. Heads up, we're going green. Green, green, green. And we're off. kind of been a hit and a miss here for how things end up. The last race I had a bad corner going into that corner right there, bounced up, spun around, hit the wall, took out two cars, but it was a mess. But there's been some very good races here. So. A lot better than what I thought was going to happen. You look at this track and think disaster. Vinny, the longest this race can go is 25 minutes. Hopefully we can run away with this, get ourselves a dub ski. There's 14 laps, 25 minutes total, and the strength feels 1.5K. We're gaining some safety or eye rating. Smooth is fast. Smooth is fast. Surprisingly, didn't hear any cussing or anything in the back. So they must have had a clean race all around. Which is good. Try to send it way too hard into that corner. So you just gotta be smooth with it.
See on the last one, I cut that on the inside of it, and it caught the bottom side of the car, lifted the ass into the car, spun me straight into the fucking wall. I think I gotta get a little faster into that, out of that, and then be in the gas pedal quicker. Best lap is only a 149? Shit. That's the fastest lap of the race. Fastest lap of the race? Let's go! Somebody spelt it there. Smooth is fast. Fast is smooth. Change up the breaking point a little bit there, but get a little faster in the third gear through there. But I feel like if I'm gonna hit the brakes to go through gear two, I'm gonna fuck some shit up. slidey around there that time. Lost some time on it. The gap behind is now 5.6. We're quickest right now. Your lap time was at 149.13. New fastest lap for Saviati, 148.90. I need to dive that sooner. I remember that now that I keep going around that and messing the little bit of time that's around that corner. Forget that yesterday I was cutting that corner just right at the edge there, rather than rounding off. So it sets up better for the right-hander. Got into that a little sooner there. Keep on going, keep on up it. Fastest 
fastest lap for Lawrence, 148.76. The guy behind has just done a 148.83. Missed our apex there, and I did not want to risk the slide. See how much time we made back up? We missed our apex and still made that time back up getting through that corner better. <clears throat> On a side note, while we're up seconds. here, um, Outer Banks has new episodes on Netflix. Just fucking awesome. Very good TV show. If you haven't watched it, watch it. let the car set a little bit in that corner to be able to get it set to get around there fast. Alright Justin, the up times are pretty consistent. See how it just sets up better? You can do that every time. Slow as hell around that. I'm halfway done with the race here. Seven laps of fuel left. Fastest lap. Gap to Adam behind is now five point three. Oh, that felt cool. I don't know. I, this direct drive stuff, you can feel like, I don't know. It's hard to explain. You can feel when your car's unsettled. It's kind of goofy. I don't know how to explain it.
Oh, the stock drive definitely takes more out of you than a standard drive wheel, standard belt driven wheel. New fastest lap for Flores, 48.45. I thought that was good through there. Apparently, my timer didn't think it was. He's trying to three tenths faster. miss into that corner. I feel like I need to find a point to where my I know I'm gonna hit the throttle. Alex Jar, 148.38. That was a little quicker through there. speed out of there. Justin, we've got about four laps of fuel left. That lap time was 148.40. I'm not talking much, just trying to focus, keep my line straight here. Let's see if we can run away with this one. 18.395 is my fastest ever lap, so setting decent, decent laps here. As long as you get third gear around, going around that corner, you're sitting pretty good. Adam, get, take it, take it around the corner. As long as you're into third gear, like rounding that corner, you're doing pretty good for yourself.
the car didn't set into that corner very well. See? I just lost a second. We estimate three laps of fuel left. That was a 149.33. Super tight corner, either Y, so you're leaving this field. Which one are you talking about? The first one? I can't lie to you, I don't know which corner you're talking about. You're talking about the first one, crossing the finish line. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you, if you could look at that corner in my eyes, it's scary going into that any wider than what I do. That's why I don't. Okay, starting now. The captain, Adam, behind is increasing. It's now 5.8 seconds. Come on, Justin. Two to go. Stay focused. We can win this. Only two laps of fuel left. You've just done a 149, 128. Is it the one all the way at the end of here? Is that the one you're talking about? That's about as wide as I feel comfortable taking that, and I still lost time. I think. Yeah, I had to. Final lap. Let's get this shit. Come on, just in. One more lap. Keep it together. We'll win this. I'm not even worried about a lap time on here. Just worried about keeping it. Keeping it on the track. You've got one gallon left. Unless somebody runs a faster time than I did, it will be the purpose race. P1, fastest lap, positive I rating game, and positive safety rating game. That is the perfect race. The car in front of us is now one lap behind. You mean take it out wider there. Yeah, that's scary. I can't keep the car settled. And the car gets a little, it gets goofy. I don't know how to explain it. The 
car gets unsettled with the brakes going through that corner if you take it too wide. W, let's fucking go. Well done, Justin. Great win. You deserve that. Today. Yeah, it's getting pretty crazy that I'm getting normally about one to one to three wins a week, which is quite good. That was the perfect race. Fastest lap. First place. Positive great safety rating. Great job, Justin. Very good. Thank you. Appreciate it. <clears throat> um, so that makes a perfect race. So if it's if you get first place, you get the fastest lap. You have positive safety rating and positive I rating. That makes the perfect race, and that is what That's we just had. Well, let's fucking go. Um, let's look at the, see if there's anything crazy at the back here. I'll zoom way out here. Uh, da, 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 da. Hey, I had one. I should have won one earlier too, which is bad. And I fucked it up. So Oh, you're in here. Nice. Saw my fuck up. Anything in the back here? Holy shit. Holy shit. Watching the replay here, there's not a single person I wrecked in a turn one. Good job, guys. Wow. Not a single person wrecking into T1. Wow. That's fucking crazy. All right, let's All right, so let's look at Let's look at the race events of this perfect race. Holy shit, let's go. Okay. So we gained 0.28 safety rating. We gained 90 I rating. We are the biggest winner. We got 90 I rating even being the number What? Well, I thought I was the number 1 car. 1550. I was the number one car. I don't know. I was the number one car when we lined up. I don't know. All right. So apparently we were number two car. Uh, we qualified pole. We got the best lap. Held all the laps. We won the race. We were the biggest winner. And the biggest loser is Brian Orwig. Disconnected after thir at 13 laps. So he must have wrecked out in the first lap somewhere. Beautiful. Let's fucking go.